Hello, and welcome once again. I'm Steel Walrus, you are awesome, and we're going back into Arma 3 for our second episode of Historically Inspired Loadouts. Uh, yeah. So, today, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the Grenadier loadout. We're going to talk a little bit more about customizing it, kind of making it our own. Luckily, we don't have to go through everything. Let's just double check our gear, make sure everything we want to have is here and everything we don't want to have is not here. For example, I need to dump those 21 knights and replace them with regular binos. All right. So, excuse me. There we go. Now, first things first, um, if we're going to be a grenadier. We need to have a grenadier gun, which is going to be the M16A1 with the M203. And uh, then we're going to double check, make sure it didn't yeet, yeet our magazines. It did not. Uh, looks like it actually did yoink one of them. Let's make sure we have all six mags that we should. Six. We have eight magazines total. Okay, perfect. Eight magazines total. Now we need to go with a new ammo vest. So we've got several different options here. Uh, they're all basically the same thing. Now, you can also use the flak vest versions, but we're not going to worry about that here. Uh, you've got this, which has an IFAC on it somewhere. I don't really see it. Uh, it also has an extra pouch for magazines, which is cool. This one does not, mysteriously. Now, we're going to use the one that does have magazines on it, because we're not insane. There are a total of 14 slots on this thing. Let's see if we can actually get 14, uh, I think, yeah, 14 or more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 22, actually, it looks like. I don't think we can squeeze 22 grenades in here, but let's, uh, let's see. We want to have at least 5 of these things. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we got five of those. Now, uh, we want smokes. We want a couple of smokes for signaling enemy presence. Probably two of those. We want probably four smokes. So that brings us up to 16 smokes. And uh, we can either, we can use that at our discretion if we want some more yellow smoke to cover, or a couple more to, uh, you know, uh, signal targets, we can do that, but I like to leave that for the squad leader a lot of the time. Remember, with your signal, with your red smokes, you can replace that with red flares to target. Um, you can also, I mean, you could even use, like, uh, green and white flares if you want to for other things, like illumination. Um, if you're fighting at night, you don't need to. Um, well, you do need to, but you know what I mean. You don't have to go too hole out. Really, a red smoke or a red flare will do just fine for illumination because you're illuminating an enemy target. Uh, all right, but let's go ahead and in this case, we're gonna just chunk it up to we got 12 plus 8, I think. 12 plus 6, lol, well, 18. Okay, we got 18 grenades in here. That's not bad. And let's see what our weight is sitting at currently. 47 pounds. Actually not that heavy. We could even afford to... Uh, instead of gloves, guys, let's let's start to kind of mix things up a little bit. We go to the NVGs and we grab a bandolier. Well, that doesn't look good, does it? All right, back to the gloves. We're going to keep the gloves. Uh, we're going to change up the uniform a little bit. Make it look a little snazzy. Snazzy. All right, there we go, and we get the gloves that look nifty. Let's go with, uh, where are the ones with the roll? I like that. That looks good. We'll get some scrim on our helmet, because I like scrim, as you guys are aware. And let's go with uh, spectacle glasses, because I will always prefer spectacle glasses. Uh, and you can always do something a little different if you want to, but that's fine. Let's go into our backpack. You're still going to be carrying all the other stuff you normally carry. But let's go ahead. Now we've got six of each of these. You can vary that ratio up, but you should have at least three to one. Um, 
So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and we'll grab an extra smoke. Another extra smoke. And let's grab a couple extra more of these. So that's going to put us at four there. So I think we have 22. All right, 22 grenades. And our weight's at 49. So we're actually not that bad off right now. You'll note yet again, I am still not carrying more um, than I... Uh, would normally right like i'm still not carrying a whole bunch i'm also not uh, carrying a magazine in my gun that's ubiquitous across all of these always settle your loadout you know settle it out without any magazine in um, that way when you first put it on you're not going to run the risk of like tabbing out and tabbing it back in and shooting your buddy or something like that while they're getting their gear and stuff together uh, I know I picked kind of a weird way to say that, but that's ADHD for you. I uh, figure you guys get the point. Now, I have managed to keep the uh, the same load-bearing equipment otherwise, as far as the butt pack is concerned. Really haven't changed my loadout much at all, but depending on what's available on the server, you can go nuts with it. Um, you're still, let's see, yeah, you're still carrying almost exactly the same stuff. Um... Uh, so if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about this, feel free to let me know. Um, I'm more than happy to discuss it, like I said, in the comment section. Uh, this is as quick a guide as I can make, and I don't think there's really anything else to cover. I'll just sort of scroll through things real quick if you want to kind of look at it. Uh, I would even I would even go so far, though, as to say... Perhaps a grenadier could be authorized to carry a couple extra frags or something like that, just because that is their job, is to be the guy with the explosives. But, uh, anywho, again, if you guys are looking to play some Liberation or do some other historically inspired operations in, like, the late Cold War, feel free to join our Discord. It's got a link in the uh, description here. Uh, just be 16+, plus and ready to do things somewhat immersively we're not super uh, serial about that but you know we want to make sure everybody's getting what they expect the best way to do that is to not be playing cod all right well thanks for watching guys and i uh i'm looking forward to continuing the series for y'all peace